What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Pace Fall 2023. Thank you all for sticking around with us this late into the evening, but we've got a cool showcase coming up for you. Uh, today, we are going to be showing off Spider-Man 2002 based on the first Tobey Maguire movie. And without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and throw it over to the one and only Glitch PhD. Thank you, JCR, for that wonderful introduction. Um, hi, I'm Glitch PhD. May also be Peter Parker, I don't know. But um, yeah, so Spider-Man 2002. Um, we will be running this on the easy mode as that is the fastest way to beat up enemies and stuff. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. In three, two, one, go. Alrighty. Now, spoiler alerts, Uncle Ben's already dead. I know. Not good, but we're going to avenge his death post haste by taking out these Skull Gang thugs because they seem to have some inkling as to where uh, Uncle Ben's killer is lying. So you'll notice that I'm shooting a bunch of webbing right out pretty quickly. Okay, I missed that guy. Hold on. Did I? Okay. I think I'm good. <laughs> Um, so, the impact webbing that I'm shooting out normally has a cap of how fast you can do it. They didn't know anything, but I'm just getting started. Okay, I might have missed a couple or something. But essentially, what we're doing right now is uh, glitching out the uh, impact webbing. Basically, all you can do is um, swing and jump and then use impact webbing again to kill him. And doing that, you can get a pretty good combo. And honestly, it's um, it's pretty good. I, where are these dudes? <laughs> Normally, I don't have this much trouble with this, but uh, for some reason, they're not playing nice today. Oh, there's this one guy down here. Yeah, okay, he found yeah. the culprit. <laughs> the, uh, the enemies like to hide in this game sometimes. Yeah, yeah so <laughs> not a great start, but you know what? Honestly, in a marathon run, I can't expect, you know, it all to go super smoothly. So, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. And what we basically did was take all the thugs that we needed and um, kind of figured out where exactly Uncle Ben's killer is hiding. So uh, we're going there now. And uh, as you can see, this game is uh, heavily mission-based. It's kind of different compared to um, Spider-Man 2, like the one with the uh, pizza missions and all that, the free roaming. This one precedes that, of course. And, um, yeah, on to the second mission. So something really interesting to note, and you'll notice with how long these loading screens are, uh, we're currently playing on the GameCube version of this game. This game came out for GameCube, PlayStation 2, Xbox, and PC. Uh, the PC version is the fastest. I believe it saves like five minutes. Um, but we are playing on GameCube, and each version, I believe, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but has specific, um, you know, specific features uh, that sort of make it its own. And um, so we're playing on the GameCube version, so everything that you see is GameCube specific today. Yeah, so basically, for most of the runs for this game, it's normally done on PC because PC loads are like five minutes faster compared to GameCube, but um, I play on GameCube because I personally grew up with that version of the game, and plus this is also what I started running with, so um, eventually I'll do PC, but for now, sticking to my roots. Yeah, and you'll notice that you've probably seen it all throughout this mission, but this game is a little broken. Yeah, and, um, a little broken. <laughs> yeah, just a little broken. We're using enemies to clip through doors and uh, you can actually web sling through walls. It's, it's really crazy. You'll be seeing more of that later on. And I hit yes to save menu. So it's a little bit of time loss, but honestly, you know, it's whatever. It's all good. So yeah, um, we'll be seeing more of uh, web clip, or no, sorry, web clipping, uh, thug clipping through the doors in this mission. Um, as well as another thing, hopefully I'll get it. It's a little situational, but it's kind of tight. Let's see. Did 
There's this question mark here, and hopefully, okay, no. Honestly, that's fine. So you can skip that question mark because in the game, uh, Bruce Campbell narrates throughout the uh, pretty much all the tutorial that you need to learn how to play the game. And uh, you can skip that. There's a small space that you can just jump behind the, quote, uh, the question mark and skip that. But unfortunately, I did not do that. I'm trying to use thug clipping through that door as I just did there because that skips having to fight a lot of thugs uh, to get a key to unlock that door. And with that, now we're at uh, Uncle Ben's Killer. And he's not happy. Neither are we. So uh, his uh, moveset is pretty random. It's RNG based on whatever he's deciding to do. All right. That wasn't too bad. As you can see, I uh, used more of the uh, impact web glitching I mentioned earlier just to end him off. I will be using uh, that quite heavily for another boss uh, coming up here later. But uh, yeah, for now, we have avenged Uncle Ben's killer. But uh, now what? <laughs> so it's not entirely oh, mentioned, but you are working for J. Jonah Jameson of the Daily Bugle. Uh, and we're getting photos for Spi um, for him of Spidey. <laughs> it's just this. This is the mission. <laughs> so, I believe we mentioned it, but um, you'll notice throughout this game that the voice acting was actually done by some of the actors which worked on the original Spider-Man movies. You'll notice Tobey Maguire voices all the Spider-Man lines. When we get to Green Goblin, Willem Dafoe's lines are in here, as well as Bruce Campbell being a narrator. Um, it's a really neat touch, uh, you know, when you look back on these early 2000s games. Uh, I think it's really cool, and it makes this game stand out a bit. Ooh. Okay, so nice. with those robots right there, because all of a sudden there are robots appearing out of nowhere, um, you can crawl on a wall like that, like I was just doing, to hopefully spawn groups because there's a group of four and a group of six. Optimally, they should spawn right in front of you when you're crawling on the wall in that specific direction, and you can just kick them all and take care of that wave, but uh, sometimes it's just not so lucky. And now we're kind of veering away from the uh, main movie storyline and kind of going through more like what you consider like extra stuff that was not in the movie, like other bosses classic Spider-Man villains, and uh, we're coming up here to a shocker, so what we're doing right now is just going through a subway station, uh, taking out thugs, saving civilians, you know, usual hero stuff, and this is pretty much the entire mission, there's not much more to it than this. You may notice that I've been... Uh, using web zipping where I'm like darting it really fast like that with the web. Now basically, um, for a lot of this game, we'll be using web swinging, but there is going to be quite a few times where we'll be using web zipping. It gets you from point A to point B a lot faster than swinging. And you may have been observant enough to uh, notice that um, when you web swing, he just pulls it out of thin air, out of nowhere. Oh, <laughs> that thug just flew right in the air, but so, yeah, this was, they didn't quite program the web swinging um, with, you know, the utmost realism in mind because uh, it was probably kind of hard to do all that stuff. And they waited for that until Spider-Man 2 to actually sort of perfect the more um, natural web swinging. So some of the stuff in this game can be a little jank, but, uh, you know, it still has its charm. Alrighty. Chase through the sewer, this next mission. And now, um, there's gonna be a lot, a lot more web zipping. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be doing some uh, combo stuff with some of these thugs because there's this right. one guy who is an armored thug like and he doesn't, here. you know, get taken down by normal means. I did the wrong move, okay. You know what? We'll work through it. There we go. So normal uh, triple punching with the web gloves that I equipped um, won't quite cut it for that guy, so we had to use a uh, little more brute force. 
That opened the door. I'd better pick up the piece. And this is just like a bit of a maze. Heads up. This waterfall here that all of a sudden this thug ripped off a wheel. Now we have to go get it back so we can get to that part of the the uh, stage. Okay, nice. So what I just did there was like an uppercut move, and that's exclusive to the console versions of this game. It's something known internally in the game as a dragon punch, I believe. And um, again, only exclusive to uh, console versions. And that can help a lot with comboing enemies and even bosses. You'll be seeing a lot more of that later, too. We're going to get a, um, a combo power-up because like we will be needing advanced web gloves for a lot of uh, later bosses. And you know more web zipping, the usual. Yeah, I really think the web zipping movement in this game in particular is really cool to see at a high level. Uh, there's actually an area coming up here relatively soon, which I think is like one of the coolest, <laughs> visually one of the coolest things in this run. Uh, it involves a lot of web zipping, web slinging, intertwine. So I'm trying to use more uh, thug clipping to get to the doors because normally you'd have to fight those two thugs and then a giant group of more thugs, but uh, we ain't got time for that, so. Oh my god, I killed both of them. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> okay, well. that's a bit of a big time loss, but I made the estimate 35 minutes for reasons like this. <laughs> that's all right. So what basically what Glitch was trying to do is um, by clipping into that room with one enemy uh, by saving the other enemy outside the door uh, he was able to clip back out unfortunately uh, that attack move uh, killed both of those enemies so unfortunately soft lock having to restart the level but that's okay yeah it's really unfortunate and of course you know only happens the marathon of course yeah, yeah only not in, in practice <laughs> never happens in practice <laughs> but you no know, that's just how it goes I'm honestly really glad to be showing off this game. Uh, this isn't the first time the game has been shown off in a live setting. I believe the runner Tego uh, from Germany did a run of 100% of this game live, which is honestly really cool because this game does not get enough love. I mean, like I said, it's, there's some of the stuff in this game that can be a bit jank, but honestly, I still really enjoy it. Do I have to, do I have to do this again? I've never had to do this before, so uh, we're learning. Never mind, I did not have to do that again. Okay. Oh, well, good to know for next time. We're almost to the end again. This is also probably the most I've ever had to talk during this game, so, you aren't so tough. I hope it's okay. I might be a little bit uh, lost for words sometimes because I'm just trying to focus on doing this. Okay. Got to there again. We will not be doing the same mistake as last time. I kind of like fat fingered the uh, X and A buttons. Because there's another guy on the nice. outside of this door. We can clip back through and uh, mission done. And then they're shockers, so we got to chase up to him. It's getting pretty close. But uh, like I said, there's also more villains than just shocker added to the game. So now I'm going to be going through uh, a series of tunnels. He's going to try to attack me with his power. I'm not sure. His electric power. But um, hopefully, ooh, hold on. Okay, that works. Bit of an easier route for the uh, GameCube version. Okay. <laughs> Almost up to the uh, boss here. There we go. And using a lot more impact webbing for this guy because you could try to take him out with like the op most optimal movement, but it's just more than likely not gonna happen unless you get insane RNG. Okay, I'm having a bit of trouble here. Come on. Good to know subtle isn't in your vocabulary. <laughs> Definitely not. 
Dude, okay. We're almost there. Okay, we're there. Nice. We're good. Yeah. Took a little bit of time, but, you know. Should also be mentioned, uh, this version of the game, or rather difficulty that we're playing on, is easy. It is the fastest version of this game. I believe the enemies have lower HP. Um, certain other things are lowered, like, uh, you know, specific collectibles in certain missions. We'll try to point them out as we come to them. Yeah, so now we're up to the next set of stages with the next villain, Vulture. And we're climbing up his tower because, you know, he's doing nefarious things. We got to stop him, yada, yada, the whole superhero thing. And uh, it's mostly just uh, going up a long vertical maze. And the swinging log of doom normally doesn't give us trouble, but uh, I got hit by it, so, you know. Yeah, this, this has to be one of the most difficult sets of movements uh, in the game. And a lot of web zipping and web slinging, but I think overall it looks really cool when done well. Yeah. And again, why the movement can be jank. When you're doing this stuff, if you hold a certain direction and, like, jump, sometimes Toby can just uh, spin around in a circle. I know I also just called him Toby. It's like kind of habit. <laughs> yeah. Occasionally, well, most frequently we call this game a uh, Toby One in the community. So, yeah, Toby One. Toby One, man. <laughs> Come on. How many people are Toby fans here? Any Toby fans in the audience? Toby. There we go. All right. That's more like it. How about Andrew Garfield? Ooh. Ooh. Should I ask about Tom Holland? Woo! Alrighty. Let's go. So now we're chasing Vulture through the city, and he can go a few different ways, a few different paths throughout the stage. So far, he didn't go the fast path for the first... For the first one. Um, as we're taking out structures, we have to, you know, prevent that from happening. Because, you know, civilians, got to save them. Oops, okay. Here we go. Let's see. Okay, he's going the faster way for this, this route now. And it's easy mode, so he can only go a few different ways. If you play on the harder difficulty, he can actually go a third way, which is interesting. It goes around a crane, sort of. There's a lot more that I can... You know, that's different about the game when you're playing on a harder difficulty, but like I said, playing on easy mode is just the fastest way to take down enemies and stuff. And it's raining right now in the game. Uh, you'll be seeing there'll be a lot more rain coming soon, and that will actually glitch out our uh, webbing. You'll see in a second. I should have waterproofed my costume. <laughs> Toby making remarks like that. You're not away from okay. Me that yeah, you can see how the web is like going two different directions. That's just a graphical glitch that happens every time. So we're coming up to uh, the vulture fight, and we can actually one cycle him. Normally, it's done in two cycles, but uh, using that dragon punch I mentioned earlier, on top of using a uh, triple punch combo, that can actually take him down pretty quickly. Hopefully, as long as... Okay, there may be a bit of a chance that he may damage himself, so I can't go for the one cycle, but we'll have to see. So far, so good, actually. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Now here comes the the make or break part. Nice. All right, that saves about, like, 10 seconds, I believe. Glad I got that. Yep. That's not the only instance that you're going to see of uh, specific combo moves. Uh, this game has a lot of different combo moves that we're not even going to cover in this category, but um, we can utilize combo moves to actually skip cycles, and we have another one uh, coming up here pretty soon. It's going to be weird going back. So now the uh, next um, Spider-Man villain, Scorpion, which is actually the last one for this version, at least, because in the Xbox version, uh, they actually added two exclusive levels involving the uh, the Hunter Craven. So, 
that's the reason why we separate Xbox from a lot of these other categories. And for GameCube to be separated from PC is only because of the loading times and how how you just save five minutes off a of PC. It's insane. No way am I ending up in Someday I'll run PC. Neither Someday. That mission wasn't too bad. Uh, the robot spiders could be a lot worse. They could be just hiding in the uh, tunnels in that parking garage, but that was okay. And then now, of course, we've been fighting all these villains so far, Let's so it's only fair that we fight Scorpion. And he's not giving me a favorable... Okay. No? Alrighty, dude. Yeah, RNG. Got a little bit. Yeah, so with all these, um, specifically with all these like boss fights, they're really reactionary. Uh, RNG plays a big factor, um, which we'll see here with Scorpion as well as uh, Goblin coming up in a couple of missions. And uh, you know, it's you pretty much have to react to whatever the game. Oh, gives dude. You. Okay, <laughs> that was interesting. I don't know who did all this to you. All right. I feel like with the mistakes I've made, I'll be going for this uh, next one cycle boss only a few times. I would have done that more, but uh, again, we're running a little bit tight on time here because of the previous mistakes. So, you know, marathon stuff, gotta love it. All righty. Apply web gloves, smack goblin, and that takes down a lot of his health. Fun fact, you can actually kill him right then and there, but it will soft lock the mission, meaning you have to restart it. So, yeah. We're not going to do that, but we're taking down most of his health. Because normally, after saving Mary Jane just there, uh, you'd fight goblin for a while in the air, but, uh, you know, taking down most of his health in the very beginning of the mission saves quite a bit of time, and this is mostly just an auto scroll mission now. We're just waiting for Goblin. So, not too much more to say about this mission. Something, I don't know if I mentioned this, but uh, something I find really interesting about this game is that this was actually released a month before the first Spider-Man movie came out. So, technically, you sort of got a a month's preview of, uh, you know, a bit of the storyline with the Are movie. Sure? I think that's really interesting. Yeah, with some added extras, too. Oh, yeah. Because, oh, yeah. you know, they got to make it a game. So, yeah. <laughs> spoiler alerts for the movie. Yeah, spoiler alerts for the uh, movie. The 20-year-old movie. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to vote against that. <sighs> a lot of waiting. A lot of waiting. Yeah. But, you know. It's all good. It's all good, man. I've been burning bridges all day, but I think I'll just knock this one down. All right. All right. Almost done with the mission. The gingerbread man, you're this is the last section. We're just going to pummel him with a bunch of uh, web right here. There we go. So now this is the mission I was talking about. It's a bit make or break. Um, I believe it saves like 40 seconds, something like that. I don't exactly remember, but it, it saves quite a bit of time if I get it. But I'll be only going for a few times because, again, we're running a little behind. Yep, so this, this part of the fight starts out in the air, but the important part is right here. Once we get inside of this building, um, what Glitch is going to try to do is by activating the advanced web gloves, which we got earlier. There's a combo called the Sting Combo, which is a three-piece attack. And you can see he's draining Goblin's health to a very specific amount of HP. And by hitting Goblin with the third piece of this combo attack, we can actually skip an entire nice. cycle. Very nice. That's yes. really difficult to do because of Goblin's RNG. Uh, that saves 40 seconds. It's definitely... I don't know how recent this find was, but... I don't exactly know myself. Yeah. It's within the past few years, at least. I believe Nate the Man 223, a Spider-Man 2 runner, actually found that. 
that you could use that move in addition to um, the advanced web gloves we got from the chase of the sewer earlier. And it just it saves a lot of time. I'm so glad I got that. Yeah, that's really so. awesome. Alrighty. And this mission's pretty straightforward. Disarming bombs, because at the end of the mission, um, Goblin gives us a choice. Either we save Mary Jane or we save the city. So, you know, we're going to do the superhero thing. We're going to do both. But, um, yeah, we, there's already a predetermined route. Bombs in the same spot every time. Of course, with harder difficulties, there are a lot more bombs. Three? I think that guy may really want to hurt someone. He probably will, so, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's our job to prevent that from happening. Yeah. So, um, what was mentioned earlier was that there is a lot of different voice actors in the game. Tobey Maguire, Willem Dafoe, Bruce Campbell, they made the returns in this, um, game. Actually, I don't even know if he called a return if it was released a month before the movie, but they made their entries in there. Um, you can play as Green Goblin if you beat at least Hero Mode, uh, and that is voiced not by James Franco, but by, um, I believe, Michael Keaton, and he, he does a lot of other Spider-Man stuff, and um, they did that because they originally had Michael Keaton voicing Spider-Man because they weren't sure if they were going to get Tobey Maguire to do the voice acting for this game. Lo and behold, he did, though, and uh, they left his voice clips all in the same thing for, uh, for Goblin. So, okay. no more neat bit of trivia. Me, wow, here I am. Eh. Goblin's not playing nice. He's got his Razor Bats out, but make quick work of that. Okay, hopefully. <laughs> so this is another instance of... The easy mode of this game, allowing for more time save. Uh, I believe we only need to destroy 50 Razor Bats. Uh, I'm not sure. Th there's definitely way more, depending on if you're playing on normal or hard difficulty. Yeah, I believe so, yeah. <sighs> Alrighty. So we took out most of them by standing on certain buildings. They will spawn in the same spots every time. And the uh, second and third groups will actually uh, freeze in place. We can just swing kick them. Pretty easy. Okay. Really nice, really nice. And this next mission is called Breaking and Entering. So, guess what we're going to be doing? <laughs> I don't know. I thought we might be breaking and entering. Dude, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I have no clue. But actually I do because we're going to be sneaking into Oscorp, the uh, company that Norman Osborn owns. Uh, and seeing what he's up to because a lot of nefarious stuff going down. He wants to make sure that, you know, Mary Jane's safe and everything. So we're sneaking in here and we're going to be uh, hacking some computers, basically, because we need it to unlock a keypad lock door. Uh, and each computer will give us a piece to unlock that keypad lock door. Simple uh, visual puzzle, but... This is only one fifth of the total passcode. Yep, and all the while that we're doing this, we're trying to avoid being caught by uh, any enemies in this area. Yeah, kind of like the guard that just found me. Hopefully, the super soldiers, these tall white robots with guns, won't shoot me, because if they shoot me while I'm hacking the computer, um, it'll cancel out, and they'll have to run around the map. Uh, but luckily, it looks like I should be okay for now. Um, uh, oop, nope. Okay, he saw me. All right, so this is that running around the map that I was talking about. It's unfortunate, but it's just what you gotta do sometimes. Okay, oh, he saw me, but maybe I sh I Oh, no, dude! All right, hold on. Dude, honestly, if this works, oh, dude, no. oh my god. Dude. Well, it, of course you're standing I right on that I didn't think ledge. it was going to go that bad, <laughs> but you know what? It was going that bad, so. Sound the alarm. Do not sound the alarm. You've already sounded enough alarms, dog. <laughs> All right. Okay. Dude. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, this is, um, it's never usually this bad, but most of them just, like, not thinking this. I probably should go under here. It's turned into a casual playthrough, sort of, at this point. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, you know. 
Sorry. Dude, you really need to chill out. Okay. You... You... I'm just gonna... Okay. There's probably a backup for this. You know what the backup is? Restarting the level. Yeah, that's a that, good backup. Yeah, I'm like not doing this anymore because like, we, we gotta go. We gotta go, dude. Yeah, you can easily <laughs> see how being spotted in that mission uh, oh, completely man. throws off any strats or cycles. So, yeah. So, you know, Murphy's Law. What can go wrong will go wrong, and <laughs> it's been going wrong tonight. Only but, in a marathon. You know. Uh, so doing this all again. Hopefully having a lot better luck this time, you know. I was anticipating at least maybe restarting one mission, but never two, so. This is a lot more of a uh, stealth mission, but, you know, we're speedrunners, we don't want stealth. We just want to go fast. Okay. There is an amusing glitch with this where if you... Uh, sometimes a guard can That's punch three. you instead of sounding the alarm right away. Uh, and if you get punched while, like, the, the frame that you get the uh, puzzle piece, uh, it will actually, like, move over and uh, create a uh, empty space. And if you try to unlock the keypad lock door after getting everything else, um, it will soft lock the mission. There's a lot of soft locking in this game. There's quite a few broken things. Uh, Strats were honestly found like over time, over years of playing this game. And honestly, we have a pretty small community, but I'm pretty passionate about this game. I love this game. Um, and I know a lot of other people do too. But uh, yeah, going deeper into the recesses of uh, Oscorp. There's a chemical lab and a lot of not good stuff happening there. So uh, we're going to try to stop whatever's going on. And we're not really worried about stealth this mission. We're gonna be caught. But you know what, that's okay. Because we don't even need to, you know, work on computers and hope we don't get shot. We just need to get these little pieces of the puzzle. And I'm, I'm hitting them with the web to get these uh, puzzle pieces outside of the room. And that's actually because we're skipping a very like, small like micro cutscene every time we do that. It only shows up in one room if you enter it fully, but uh, after like one second of watching the cuts and you can skip it, but uh, we're skipping that even. Doc, this door is and this door is locked. We gotta wait for the do with the key card. Uh, get this one right here. All right, ooh. Yep. Dr. Rue with the key card. And I'm getting shot at, I'm, boy, they really do not like me tonight. <laughs> is it something I said? <laughs> All right, about the end of the mission here. And same thing for this room here because there's a big um, chemical thing here. I don't know what to call it. And uh, you have to, each time you get both those panels, you have to hit the uh, panel in that main room that corresponds to the panels that you just got, so. And if you do the wrong one, uh, mission over, gotta restart, but, you know, luckily I didn't do that. I actually did choke a pretty good pace to that room before just because I forgot which one was which. It's unfortunate. For some reason, uh, Oscorp, Norman Osborn is hiding a giant robot somewhere. I don't know if it's in the Oscorp building or a warehouse, but we gotta take it down and honestly, it's pretty easy. Just take down these generators and that will re remove a force field that's around a robot, this robot's neck. That's the last generator. Now for that sensor array. Using the impact webbing, hopefully it latches onto the, yeah, okay. It shot to the uh, robot below because uh, auto lock, but it's all good. Okay. Yeah. So we're coming up to the last few missions here and uh, Oscorp already knows that we're here. They're on high alert, so uh, we have to uh, be careful because there's a lot of weapons that are going to shoot us, but uh, we're not going to worry about it too much. Oh, 
looks like a security console. Maybe I can use it to shut off some of the defenses on this floor. We're just tanking these uh, laser shots. If I take too long in that room, I will, of course, die. Normally, it's supposed to be going on either side of the building to shut off those defenses, the laser, and a, um, a laser wall, but we don't need that. We don't need that. It's easy. Literally. Alrighty. So, another chase mission, this time with Goblin, because he's actually kidnapped Mary Jane. So, we gotta save her. Easy as that. I will be taking some slight um, different movements, hopefully to uh, push Goblin along. We don't exactly know why we can sometimes get faster uh, completions with this level. But, like, I feel like we're, like, starting to learn why. Okay. So what I did right there is fly past this building back here and doing that. I believe it should um, push Goblin along further pretty quickly. But we're mostly just waiting and uh, with the timer, you, you hear that beeping. Uh, so with this uh, meter, we can't get too far away from Goblin, otherwise the meter will beep. If it beeps too long, we end the mission uh, and have to retry. But doing this, I feel like if you, so to speak, edge the beeping quite a bit, uh, you can actually uh, get them along faster. But again, we haven't had super proper testing. I did test that one day and did find that um, small time save I had mentioned earlier. But aside from that, it's, uh, yeah, it's mostly just hopefully it'll be fast. Just hoping. Yep, and that meter in the top right, uh, that spider is sort of keeping track of how close we are to Goblin, and that's basically what tells you, uh, you know, if you get too far away for a long enough period, you'll have to restart the mission. Oh my god, I was so close to failing that. I'm like, dude, not, not another fail, dude. We cannot afford that. <laughs> We're almost done. Next mission after this is the last one, and it's pretty short. I do apologize for taking nah, more no worries. than estimated time. We're in the home stretch. Here we go. Almost done. So, <clears throat> ooh, voice crack. <laughs> All good. So it's sort of similar opening to the offer, um, where we instantly w impact web and then swing kick him, but we won't be doing more uh, impact webbing. We're just going to use web strands. And, uh, up, by the way. yeah. So Mary Jane's on the burning bridge, and we're supposed to save her, but we're just not going to do that. And time. There we go. So, yeah, we, we were supposed to do the superhero thing, but unfortunately, we did not quite do the superhero thing. But you know what? That's just how it goes. And, uh, yeah, that's Spider-Man 2002. I, um do have like one more confession to make. The reason why I was able to beat that game so fast. I said I was Peter Parker before, but you know. Uh-oh. What do we got? Oh my god, it's Spider-Man, dude. I'm also Spider-Man. He's Spider-Man. Let's go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, thank you guys for having us out. Uh, thank you to Pace for allowing this game into the event. It's a really cool game with an awesome community. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys. I had it on upside down the mask, <laughs> but I do actually have a mask. <laughs> it just didn't work. But sorry, yeah, honestly, dude. this game is awesome. Um, I'm wearing these to protect the uh, suit, but yeah, honestly, shout outs to the guys that helped me start this run, or start running this game way back when uh, Spidey Balls and Adam Speedruns. Shout out to you guys. You guys helped welcome me in the community. And honestly, I, I love speedrunning this game. And uh, shout out to Just Phase, Ben Clever name for helping keep the speedrun alive as of recent. And uh, everyone else that helped contribute to the speedrun in some way. And uh, hi, mom and dad. <laughs> We're still watching at like three in the morning. I can't <laughs> believe it. Shout really out to weird. you guys. You guys are awesome. Love you. And uh, shout to everyone else that was watching the run. So with that being said, 
I've been Glitch PhD, and uh, this has been Spider Man. Thank you for watching. And coming up next, stay tuned because coming up next, we actually have 007 Quantum of Solace by Vinny. And honestly, I love that game, so I can't wait to see what the speedrun has in store for us. So stay tuned. Pacefall 2023. Thank you for having me. Thank you, guys.